Today, we're taking a deep dive into the strange world of Call of Duty zombie knockoff games. Y'all have seen me play quite a few zombies clones in those Roblox videos, and some of those will be featured in this. But basically, we're going to start off with the worst of the worst and work our way up to what I feel like is the best. As always, if you guys do enjoy and want to see more videos like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notifications. And now let's start this off with COD Zombies 2. Okay, I'm sorry, but this just looks awful. As you guys can see, it's just a simple web browser game. We got a bird's eye view of some stick figures that look like they just came straight out of 2006 Microsoft Paint, and it's pretty broken because at random times, zombies just completely stop spawning. Even in the instructions, it says if zombies stop spawning, press space DRMP in that order. I have tried typing that code in so many different times in so many different ways, but they just never start spawning again. So we're going to give this one more attempt. Okay, so we're on round eight right now. We just unlocked damage cola. I'm assuming that's just double tap. We got an attachment crate as well as the mystery box. 2000 points for the box is crazy. Dude, it looks so bad. Okay. Okay. What is this? A DSR 50? Oh, Barry. You're not even able to switch back to your pistol. Like, you straight up only get one weapon. That's wild, though, how each round only consists of four zombies. Like, round 19 should not look like this. Ooh! Okay, we just got Pack Punch unlocked. The problem is that the Barry gets you, like, zero points per kill. But yeah, we're just gonna try and get something decent from the box, Pack Punch it, and see how far we can make it in this. Little update, we are on round 51 right now. There are still only four zombies spawning, and the only difference I can really see is the damage they deal, as well as their health. Let's see what this attachment crate does. This is the most useless attachment I've ever seen. It just put a little red box over my curve. Cursor. I don't even know, but let's try pack punching. I mean, it did give us a pretty cool weapon skin. So once again, the zombie stopped spawning on round 68. Nothing I can really do because the cheat code doesn't even work. But don't worry, because the creator also made cause of by the way, we're not even going to spend any time on this. It's just an exact copy and paste of COD Zombies 2, except with a different background color. So let's go ahead and move on to the next game. So here we have a very slight upgrade. There's no option whatsoever to change the resolution. So we're going to be working with this tiny little window. All right, so we got zombies, bonus maps, and arcade. Exact same maps as BO1 and World at War. But I do think you have to separately download these ones. So off to Nocter and Toe in we go. Okay, we have officially entered 2D COD Zombies. Right here, we got the classic card 98. On the left side, we got Quick Revive. And the window is so small, I can't even read what that says. This reminds me so much of Terraria. I really don't know how this resembles Nocturne and Toten in any way. Kind of just makes me want to see what the other maps look like, though. I'm not even going to bother to try and download the bonus maps, because even the website to download this game itself just looks so beyond sus. Hacker man. He's the most powerful hacker of all time. Oh, no way! Oh, that's sick! So over on the right side, we found the mystery box. Okay, it appears the zombies cannot walk up steps. But up here, we got another door with double tap. I hit escape and it completely just backed me out of the game. This honestly isn't bad for a 2D version of zombies. Like it reminds me of an OG Nintendo DS game. So far, I've seen Juggernog, double tap, and quick revive. It says they all need power, so that's currently what we're searching for. Oh, we found it! Okay, so right now we got speed cola and jug. We're gonna go by quick revive and double tap. And then I don't really think there's anything to do after that. Shoot! You know what? Good enough. That was so much more enjoyable to play than the first game we did. But yes, on to the next. Okay, now we have Nazi Zombie Army. Believe it or not, this is actually a Flash game. And it just moves so unbelievably smooth. Right here, we got some Hellhounds. I'm low-key a little amazed with this one. Like, the zombie models and movements are surprisingly pretty good. Wait, what is that thing? Oh my goodness. Oh, okay, now I see it. So in the top, it says Nazi Zombie Boss Health. Our bullets do absolutely zero damage to it. But for each zombie you kill, it decreases its health by 10. Oh, shoot. Okay, I didn't even realize it had this. All right, so basically, we can pick between four different weapons to use. I think we're going to go with the LMG route. Shoot! I feel like we should at least try the other three. So this thing is just straight up a one-shot. Pretty goaded as well. Bang! 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 So next up, we have the MP40. And oh my goodness, this thing is a marshmallow shooter. That is ridiculous. Why is that one the most expensive one? For some reason, I feel like the Thompson is going to be the worst. I don't know, but let's see it. I don't know, I'd say it's pretty similar. Pretty strange, though, how the cheapest guns are the best. I know this game did not just crash when the boss health is at 120. Frick! Bro's really restarting just to see what this boss fight is like. I mean, overall, the game itself is super easy. It's just annoying having to get 100 kills again. Okay, only four more kills. Three, two, one. What, can we kill it now? Hello? Oh, it just ends like that? Bro, that wasn't even a boss fight. I'm a little bit upset with that ending. Anyways, we are now making a return to Michael Zombies. I'd say it's definitely up there for the knockoff COD Zombie Roblox games. But yeah, regardless, a ton of you guys were telling me to come back because I guess they added more content. So let's check it out. We're going to start this off on Doris just because I want to show you guys how well the map accuracy is. Like, it's literally the exact same. It's got the wall buys and perks and everything. Okay, so I'm just going to make it my main objective to pack a punch this game. All right, so first things first, we got to get that power on. Let's see if we can get something good from the box. 
Alright, what you got for me, box? Bro, the monkey bomb! The monkey bomb in this game is so goofy. Like, what does that screech it makes? I like how they just kick it around. I'm not even lying. The per jingles in this game can compete with the OGs. Like that speed cola jingle makes me want to get up and start dancing. Go, 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 go! Uh, get out of the way! Oh my goodness! I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh! Jukes! All right, teleporter be done. Bro, where are they running to? They just launched that! All right, that's teleporter A. Let's give that box one more spin. PPSH, bro, are you kidding? Goated. Huh? What are these two doing? Finally, the final teleporter. Boom! Anyways, the only thing left for me to do is pack a punch now. Go, go! Get it, get it! Run! Oh, that was close. Jeez, this thing is an animal. But yeah, the other maps in this game consist of Nocturne and Toe in uh, One Window and Lighthouse. And in case you were wondering, the map layout for Nocturne and Toe in is very identical, but not quite the same. It's just little things though, like the placement of certain objects. And there's also just a few extra rooms to give you more space to run around or something. But yes, Michael Zombies is definitely a pretty goaded zombies clone. And finally, we have Recoil Zombies. The absolute goat of all COD zombie knockoffs. All right, so obviously we're on Nocturne and Toe in, and the graphics in this are just beautiful for a Roblox game. Bro, my teammate goes out once and he already already rage quit. Even the zombies in this look pretty decent. I'm actually baffled at the fact that this game only has a hundred something players on it. Like this is probably the closest thing we have to actual zombies. Let's see what we can get out of the box. AK-74U. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. But it's not even like this is the only map. I'm pretty sure I saw Kino and Verrucked in there as well. This was actually one of the first Roblox games I've ever played. And I didn't know it at the time, but this was the best of the best. Hold on teammates, I got you. Protect me. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, I just let both my teammates down. My bad, guys. They even included the OG troll weapon. I mean, it's not technically in a cabinet, but it's still there. Well, I mean, that's basically the whole map of Nocturne and Toten. So let's go see what Verrucked has to offer. All right, once again, this looks like another exact map layout. You really just can't beat recoil zombies. They even included the crying when you walk over to this. Jesus, this map is creepy. This map has always been insanely creepy. Bro, my teammate left and now there's no zombie spawning. I think we're gonna have to restart. I really can't get over how good this is. The perk machines are here, the power's here, the wall buys are here, the mystery box is here, everything is here. All right, all right. Galil from the box, say less! So now that we've taken a pretty good look at both Noct and Verrucked, let's go revisit the classic Kino. It really is just so beautiful. I did not mean to buy that. You already know we gotta cop that MP40. Bro, I just realized it, but even in the background, you can faintly hear damned. We'll get that power on. Beautiful! I didn't even realize it. It's got the OG perk jingles too. Oh yeah, okay, I remember this. Slight difference in the dog round. Rather than hellhounds, we get like these hazmat zombies. Okay found the box. I know they also have the ray gun and thunder gun in this from the last time I played. It really is an S tier clone. I just kind of wish it was a little more popular. Only a hundred players on this. Why is it so slept on? Anyways, I think that's going to conclude this video. If you guys did enjoy it, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the post notifications. And let me know down below if you know of any more COD zombie knockoffs. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace out, boys.